I'm your mayor, Travis Stobel, and today we are kicking off an opportunity to share with you, our Gresham community, updates and information of what's going on here in the city of Gresham. First of all, I'd like to recognize that over the last year, we have seen a lot of tragedies, both from traffic incidences and violence, specifically gun violence. And I wanna start by saying to those who have lost loved ones and those close to you, that myself, the council and the city of Gresham, our hearts and our thoughts go out to each and every one of you. We know that words aren't sufficient in times like these, but again, our hearts go out to you in your moment of sadness. And furthermore, I'd like to recognize our first responders, our fire department, our police officers, those who show up on the scene and have to assist and work through these situations. It's difficult and uh, our fire department uh, has done a phenomenal job and we know and recognize that uh, the challenges that there, the police department as you do the investigations to hold these people accountable, both from a traffic fatality standpoint and the gun violence that we're seeing. We also like to thank the regional agencies, uh, law enforcement that assist us in the investigations to ensure that we can bring these individuals to justice. So from a traffic fatality standpoint, folks, I, I just wanna say, do not get behind the wheel if you're impaired. Uh, there are solutions, there's, there's Lyft, there's Ubers, there's those types of ride shares. There's other opportunities, call a friend, but please don't get behind the wheel. And let's bring those speeds down. We've seen some increases in, in speeds during uh, COVID, during the pandemic. And that's also something that endangers yourself and others. And from a gun violence perspective, if we see something, say something. We all need to be a part of ensuring that we can build a safe and vibrant community. We need to come together in times like these, especially, as you know, we're all facing another foe, a microscopic foe, that's COVID-19. And over the last 18 months, we've seen it ravage much of our country and our world, and many people again, have faced loss of life, uh, and that's, that brings us additional sadness. But with anything that we're battling as, as a community, as a, as a country, we have tools, you know? Sometimes the tools may be a bit imperfect, but we have tools to assist us in, in fighting that fight. And in this battle, we do have tools. One of those is our face mask, and those, our face mask are something that's now required indoors, it's required in some instances outdoors. So let's do our part, let's wear the face mask. Furthermore, we have another incredible important tool and that's the vaccines. I, uh, I've been vaccinated and again, it's an important step in moving in the right direction. We've made a lot of great strides, but with the Delta variant, you know, it, it's pushing us back a little bit, but we are confident, we are optimistic that as we move forward, we will win this battle. But to do that, we've got to implement those tools. We do know that vaccines are very effective in ensuring that the sickness doesn't grab hold and put us into intensive care units, which clearly is not something any of us wants to see. So I encourage you to get the vaccine to ensure that we are all part of the solution and we can get back, we can get back to normal sooner rather than later. So, Again, we're gonna be doing this monthly, bringing you information to keep you informed. And between now and then, I just wanna make sure that uh, you know that uh, we're here, we're helping, we're working together to ensure that we can, we can move forward. And so for that, please, if you're, if you're impaired, don't get behind the wheel. Let's lower those speeds down. And with everything else, if you see something, say something. Keeping our community safe, wear those face masks, get vaccinated, and, before the next time I see you, please stay safe and stay healthy.